What's up, everyone? Welcome, welcome back. If you are new here, my name is Corey, and this is Inside Hydro. Today, we have some pretty cool stuff from Vivo Sun. This is their all in one smart grow system. It consists of their Aero Light, the Aero Zesh inline fan, and the Grow Hub controller. So, let's get everything unboxed. The packaging here is top notch. That's always something I enjoy. Nice packaging really gets me. But good packaging doesn't necessarily mean a good product, so we'll start out here in my office and then we'll get everything set up in the veg tent. So first things first, let's get a quick overview of everything. Apparently this light won the Red Dot Award, so it should be pretty cool and unlike anything we have seen here before. The whole kit consisting of the light, the duck fan, and the controller is $400, so not too expensive and they do all connect and work together which is what makes it so cool so the led is a hundred watt led it's meant for a two by two space but you can connect multiple lights to cover a bigger space this is the first led with a 70,000 hour lifespan a dual ball bearing circulation fan installed directly in the center of the light so let's go in the grow room and set everything up we have a pretty empty space in here, a bare grow tent if you will. First thing I want to do is set up the LED of course. So with the light, two light hangers are included. It looks like this is Vivo Sun's new design for light hangers. They have a button on the side rather than the traditional ones with the lever. I thought this was pretty cool at first until the hanger jammed on me within the first two minutes of using it. I ended up working it out, but to be honest, the hanger isn't very smooth when the line gets twisted. One thing I do like is the hangers that are connected to the light are integrated and already on. There's not much you have to do aside from flipping them up and hanging the light. So I've got the light up, I'm going to push that off to the side for now and work on the inline duct fan. Now I would imagine this looks pretty similar to another fan you may have seen before. This is the AC Infinity design. I have a bunch of their inline fans and this is a pretty clear copy of that. Which I'm not mad about. I mean it is a really nice and sleek design. One thing I will say at first touch, the AC Infinity fans do feel a little bit more high quality. The plastic here just feels kind of cheesy but I doubt that affects the way it works and its internals. So I'm just going to get this hooked up at the top back end of the tent. I already have some ducting wrench, so it should be fairly easy. The fan has one power wire and then another USB cable to connect into the Grow Hub controller, which is the next thing to unbox and set up. This for me is what makes the whole kit. The controller allows you to control the whole space from the touch of this screen or a mobile app. Yes, the controller is touchscreen, which is pretty cool. All you have to do is plug the LED in via this phone jack looking port. You connect the duct fan with this USB-C cable. And then the last thing that goes into the controller is the temperature reader, which you run into the grow space. So everything was very simple and easy to set up. Now, although you can set everything up with just the controller, it can be a hassle to go through all the settings that way. So to make it easier and more efficient, you can download the Vivo Sun app and control everything from your phone. And I mean everything. The amount of things you can do with this app is pretty awesome. So first off, it eliminates the need for a light timer because you can set the exact times you want the light to turn on and off in the app. So no more need for a bulky light timer. You can also change the whole spectrum of the LED from a seedling veg to flower, which is also pretty cool. This is the first light we've ever been able to do that with. I know there are other LEDs on the market with that option, but this is the first we've had here. And it does make a huge difference. Of course, you can change the light intensity from the same place. So since I'm setting this up for my veg area, I made a custom veg cycle, which tells the LED when to turn on and off and what spectrum to use. So now that the LED is set, we can move on to the circulation fan settings. This is the fan that's located in the middle of the LED. We have the same options here. 
I chose to set this fan to only run when the lights turn on, so as soon as the light starts running, so will the circulation fan. The last thing we have to set in the app is the duct fan settings. You have a few options here of how you want to set this up, but I chose to use the auto setting, which allowed me to choose a trigger. So this fan will power on anytime the space reaches above 78 degrees or 65% humidity. So now that everything is set, we're ready to grow in here. The last tab on the app gives you an overview of your garden so you can see in-depth graphs of what temperature, humidity, and VPD has looked like over the past year, month, day, or however you choose to look at it. So needless to say, this grow package can be highly valuable for dialing in a grow space. Being able to just adjust things on your phone while you're away from the space is actually amazing. So the reason I set this up in here, even though the light is too small for this space, is because I'm going to put some small plants and clones in here. So I'll be able to save myself some energy for the next few weeks. So stay tuned, make sure you are subscribed. I will be using this LED and grow setup for the next few weeks. And I do have a bunch of new updates coming. So stay up, stay high, peace.